What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's video. Uh, in keeping with our horror theme for the months of September and October, I thought I'd show off two Universal Monsters. Elsa Lancaster as the Bride of Frankenstein. And Lon Chaney as the Wolfman. Both of these were sculpted by Howard S. Studios and finished by Jeff Camp. Around the time that these two busts were produced, um, Howard had done a, a series of Universal Monsters. He also did a 31 Frankenstein and a 35 Frankenstein monster. Um, and at the time, a lot of people were painting these with this monotone um, silver screen finish. Jeff was actually one of the first people I seen um, do this and kind of perfected the technique. So in 2005, I believe I purchased The Bride from Howard and I shipped it out to Jeff in 2006. And this was the sub second silver screen piece that he did for me. The first being my 1931 Frankenstein monster. Howard did an incredible job with the sculpting. Um, he got Lancaster's hair in resin. Really, He did a really good job with that. I've spoken in another video about painted eyes. There's actually very few artists I trust um, to paint the eyes on these busts. Jeff Camp is an expert at this. So believe it or not, these aren't acrylic inserts. These these eyes are hand painted. He uses um, those artificial makeup um, eyelashes. The eyelashes on on this bus is kind of skewered because when I moved into this house back in 2007, and I wrapped this bust up, I wasn't careful with how I photo wrapped the face. So it's something I'll have to fix eventually. Howard incorporated um, part of Elsa's hand and I believe when I shipped this to Jeff the material, the bandage material um, kind of snapped off but Jeff was able to fix it and you wouldn't be able to tell that there was any damage done. Just a very pretty sculpting and finishing job by both Howard and Jeff. Here we have Lon Chaney as the Wolfman, uh, another resin bust. I'll close up so that you can see the amount of detail, sculpted detail and painted detail by Jeff on this. This one I picked up in 2007 from Howard and Jeff finished it later that year. If you pay attention to the finish um, you'll see some painted in shadows. There's a famous still of the wolfman hiding behind a tree um, and Jeff kind of replicated the lighting effects in that photo still. So it's in the, a unique paint up because I, I don't think he ever did another one like this um, afterwards. Jeff was able to get Ron Chaney to autograph the bust which was very cool. And here's a uh, Howard Stamp and Jeff Camp's signature. 